Hey, what's going on guys? Dope Smarter here, and today I'm going to be installing LEDs into the RP9 V2 from Bob CNC. I figured I'd take you along and show you how I've been installing LEDs into all my printers. So, first thing you need is LEDs. You can use whatever LEDs you want, but these are the LEDs I've been using. They are fantastic. I got a roll off Amazon for like 10 or 15 bucks, and I'll link you in the description. They are, they are basically waterproof with three... M adhesive on the back and um, yeah they're great so first thing I do is go ahead and measure out exactly how long of the LED strip I will need that way I can take some scissors and cut the LEDs according to size um, for this one I'm actually installing two strips of LEDs you might be doing this or might not be doing this um, I'm only going to show you in the video how to do one but I am installing two so that's why I cut two different strips then this is the most annoying part. You have to somehow get down to the contact. I've tried using like a razor to slice off the uh, kind of rubber coating and the only thing I've been able to get work is taking my soldering iron to it and melting it, which is annoying and messy and it does make the area kind of brown. But I will say that it's never been a, a problem to me because you don't see that part of the LED. You only see the light shining down. So. Um, it doesn't really matter to me and so basically I get down to the contact and then just put some solder on each of the two points Again does not look pretty, but it, I don't care. It's not going for looks. It works fine So that's what we're doing then I'm gonna go ahead and solder one end of the uh, cable I'll be using um, so one end of the positive one end of the negative uh, to the LEDs The pads are extremely big and strong on this, so you don't really have to worry about damaging them. I've never had an issue with the pads on these things. Then I'm going to go ahead and take the uh, backing off the cover for the adhesive and go ahead and put the LED into place. Once in place, just go ahead and press extremely firm. Um, the Again, the adhesive is crazy, crazy strong, which is fantastic. Um, but just go ahead and apply some pressure just to get it to bond well. Then we're going to be using this green plug here to plug in the end of our positive and negative. Basically, you're just going to loosen the screws and slide the positive and negative end of the LED uh, wire into there and clamp down. And you're done. That is basically it. Uh, again, mine's a little more in depth because I do have to run two more cables to basically get the second set of LEDs to work. But this is the before and after video, which, as you can tell, I think it looks absolutely amazing. Whether you just want to see your prints better or whether you're taking photos or just want to upgrade your printer, I, I think this is killer. The only thing I might end up doing, I I'm sure I'll end up doing is installing some form of a on off switch um, again just for nighttime I do have my printers on my shelf right next to my bed and um, from down below you can definitely it's, it's bright the LEDs are not uh, dim they are very bright lights so that is the only thing um, which I will update you guys on like I always do with my projects so I'll update you guys once I figure out how I'm going to design and do all that and then I basically just show here that I use zip ties to kind of keep the cables from getting in the way of the moving parts so I hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to smack the like button and subscribe if you're not subscribed and if you are wanting to support my channel I will place a patreon link in the description down below as always thank you so much for watching guys and I can't wait to see you guys in my next video dope swanner and I am out peace guys